What's good guys, it's Mai. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about Miss Sienna Lynn. I want to do her three month update today. Today she is three months and eight days. Three months a week and a day. <laughs> I want to talk to you guys all about what's been going on, what's new, what she likes, what she doesn't like, what she does, what she doesn't do, <laughs> and all of that. So, let's get started. Say hi. You say hello? You say hello, thank you, ma. Say hi. <laughs> so, first things first, Miss Sienna Lynn was born December 25th, 2016. I posted my labor and delivery story. If you haven't seen that, definitely go check it out. I'll leave the link in the description box. Well, she is just the best thing, like, ever. I don't know what it is, but she's just so fun now. She's growing into her personality so very well. As far as her growth, she weighs 16 pounds now. 16 pounds. 16 pounds now. How? I don't even know. But she is exclusively breastfed still. She plays a lot more. Um, she's a lot more social. Her smile all the time. She loves to look in the mirror. She's just growing. She's growing and I'm trying to get her to slow down. It's just all going so fast. Her head control now is definitely a lot better than it was. She moves her head freely with no problem whatsoever. She does still kind of wobble a little bit. You know, if I sit her up, her head will kind of, you know, bobble. But other than that, she's really, really good with her head control. Tummy time is great. She's actually pushing herself up off of um, the bed on her elbows now. She rolled over the other day. <laughs> she did it twice and she hasn't done it since so I'm not 100% sure if I can call that her actual roll over but um, she's definitely trying. She hasn't gotten it down pat yet but she's she's trying. Bless you mama. Um, she's on a schedule now. I won't call it a schedule simply because it does change often depending on you know what we did that day or how she's feeling you know but officially as of right now, her bath time is anywhere between 8.30 and 9 o'clock. So what we do is, you know, after the day or whatever, she'll have her bath. And then after her bath, I take her in the room and I rub her down. I rub her down with her lotion. She gets a little baby massage. We get her dressed. And then we go in her room. In her room, she has lights in her curtains. So I'll turn those on and she just loves to look at them. Depending on the last time that she ate. Um, I will definitely feed her again. After she eats, she will most likely go to sleep. I'll feed her and then burp her and then I'll lay her in her bed sleepy but awake. And that has been working so well. In the beginning, you know, I looked it up on how to get your baby to sleep through the night. Since day one, she's never actually slept in the bed with me for more than, you know, a couple hours. But um, she's finally sleeping in her crib now. So that it works the best. She's sleeping in her own room. She has her own space and it's just amazing. She just seems to love it. So once she's actually asleep, she will sleep from, depending on what time she goes to sleep. Like I said, her bath, her bath time is anywhere between 8.30 to 9 o'clock p.m. So she'll for most nights, she'll be asleep by 9.30. Sometimes she'll push it to 10 if she's, you know, not as tired or not as sleepy. No matter what time she goes to sleep, she'll wake up anywhere between... 4 30 and 6 in the morning just to eat she will eat burp i will change her and she will go right back to sleep and recently for the past couple weeks her wake up time has been 11 a.m you wake up at 11 a.m with no issues and just be the happiest baby ever so when she wakes up at 11 a.m you know that's when our day starts we'll play she'll get in her swing her will eat we'll get her dressed she is in a size 2 diapers now and they fit perfectly. I do use the Pampers brand Pampers, Pampers Swaddlers. Those just work the best for us. They're more comfortable. They don't leave that like line, you know, in, in her creases. And she's already chubby, you know. She's a juicy little thing. They don't leave the creases in her skin and they don't seem to make her uncomfortable. So, oh, we did get her ears pierced. She got her ears pierced on her three-month birthday. She didn't cry. I'll insert some of the footage. She's like, I'm not sure. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. Almost 
Um, she didn't cry much. She was just irritated because I actually had to hold her down. I don't know if you noticed, but her head control is just awesome. She wants to look at what she wants to look at when she wants to look at it. So if you try to interfere with that, you got, you're running the risk of her getting an attitude and her just being angry with you. Um, I am almost convinced that she's teething right now. At three months old, I am almost positive that she is teething. She drools so much. Like there is so much drool, it's not even funny. She's at the point where she's putting everything in her mouth. So she's definitely chewing on the bibs and chewing on my hands and chewing on her toys. So I'm almost convinced that she's gonna have teeth really, really soon. And I don't know if I'm ready for that. <laughs> she smiles all the time now. She's just a happy baby. As far as her hair, a lot of people tell me all the time, she has so much hair, she has so much hair. But I just recently bought her a baby bonnet, ow. I recently bought her a baby bonnet and she wears it to sleep. So I will moisturize her hair. I just used a little bit of coconut oil and a little bit of Jamaican black castor oil mixed in my hand while her hair is still wet. And I will rub it just around the back and massage her scalp and run it through, of course, the rest of her hair and I'll comb it through and she will wear her baby bonnet to sleep. It's definitely getting better. It's not completely gone. It's just really thin, you know? What's the matter? So we're working on that. Look, mama. Look. <laughs> she's just a sweet baby. She's so happy and she's so she moves around so much. It's like I can still lay her down and not worry about her moving much. And as far as her talking, she's just a babbling baby. When she's in the mood for it and you lay her down, she will just talk all day long. She just talks and coos and laughs. She's laughing out loud now. So she does so much and she's just growing up so fast and it's scaring me. So yep, yeah, that's it for Miss Sienna Lynn's three month update. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do plan to do, I'm not gonna do an update every month simply because not much changes, but um, I'll definitely do a six month and a nine month update. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my new videos. I upload every week. So I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye.